welcome to another edition of Thursday's Carnage. Today, we are heading to Modern for a similar to the list that we played for Legacy, where we we're trying to see if we could drop a fat dinosaur with um, uh, basically prison pieces. So we have two birds, four ignoble high arcs for ramp a little bit. Four Carnage Tyrants, four Registrar Alphas to get we can give our Carnage Tyrant uh, haste. It also helps in the fact that uh, if there is sack based removal, we have more bodies to sack and we maybe we get to keep our Carnage Tyrant. We have four Sakura Tribe Elders for ramp, four Temporary Stompers for a little bit more ramp, four Blood Moons, four Chalice of the Voids, four Commune with Dinosaurs, one dead and gone. Four Trinospheres. We have uh, two Bloodstained Myers, six Forests, two Mountains, four Stomping Grounds, three Verdict Catacombs, and four Wooded Foothills. Also, we have uh, two Anger of the Gods, four Small Creatures. That's probably our hardest part. We need to clean up. Once our Prison Pieces are down, are starting to get but put down, we want to wipe the board before we get too far. You know, get too much into our strategy. We have Chow Ming Chandra, Torture Defiance for control. Dead and Gone is pretty good against Murktide. It's also it's cheap removal. So if we need a little bit more two damage, just target creature, we could bring that in as well. Leyland of the Void for graveyard hate because we don't actively want to use our mana for anything other than playing prison pieces. I you could argue that's why maybe I should be playing Leyland of Sanctity, but Leyland of Void is just overall. A superior card. We have uh, two Void Mirrors for the Cascade matchup, which we should be pretty good against because we have Chalice of the Void already. Trinisphere. We have many ways of hating that deck right out of the format. So, no further ado, let's see Dino Prison in Modern. Hello, it's your host, CabBG. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. Also, the bell notifications. Don't forget to check out the sweet stuff that's down in the description down below. All right, let's get into the first match. Uh, we definitely have a way to, to get this Blood Moon down. So we're keeping this. Seems like a very weird hand, but I'm kind of impressed. Okay. So, play that. Crack it. Get a forest. So we have a uh, green mana. In case it's blood moon come when it comes down. Pass. So turn two Trinosphere seems pretty solid. This looks like it might be uh Grace's Death Shadow based. But then again, no, this is Living End. Okay. Seems fine. Uh play Wood of Foothills. Crack the Wood of Foothills. Get a forest. Play Blood Moon. Pass the turn. Next, we'll try to get down, uh, hopefully, Bird and Trinosphere. Okay, so see what he could do here. I mean, yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. I mean, he has red mana. What is that going to do for you? Yep, <laughs> can't use it, can you? Ha <laughs> ha, joke's on you, opponent. <laughs> okay, so we drew a land. That's pretty good. So, I think... I want to Trinus. Oh, I should have done that after. That's fine. We'll attack. Take that prison pieces, opponent. We're here to mess up your day. Yeah, I definitely should have played the bird first. Because then I could get Registrar Alpha next turn. Guaranteed. So...
Botanicals Sanctum, better known as a very expensive money-wise mountain. Okay. So we play Registrar Alpha. Start smashing face with the, a 3-3 three, three token. Dino Prison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dino Prison. What do you got? You got one blue source. I mean, we are dealing some damage to him. So, then again, I think we only dealt five to him. Registrar Alpha. Attack you. Death comes, right? Yeah, Dino Prison. <laughs> Got that match, that game. Okay, so we bring in Void Mirror. I think that's about all we do in this matchup. We could bring in Veils. Veils might be better than Dead and Gone. Uh, what we else? What else could we cut here? Maybe a Tribe Elder and a Stomper. Run it like that. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm not really worried about Dead and Gone. That's probably not relevant. So, I guess I really should have brought in. Uh, it's kind of ironic because I should bring in Leyline of the Voids. But at the same time, uh, my deck is naturally good against this. So, I already have Trinosphere. I already have ways to basically tax them out of mag playing magic. Ignoble of high arcs. Pass the turn. <clears throat> what? <coughs> <coughs> uh, what do you guys say, opponent? Grief to get the Trinisphere. It's good. It's real good. Maybe I should have brought him Land of the Voids and just give the uh, big middle finger to him. <laughs> Maybe Blood Moon's not as good. Maybe that's what I'll switch out. Uh, bird. Uh, what a foothills. Go to combat. Attack you. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so we will yield till in step. Where we gotta crack this wood of foothills. Another Ottawara. You didn't tap the first one before playing the second one. You gotta use your brain there, opponent. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. But ah oh, crap. I didn't track my fetch. Joke's on me. Grab a forest. Play a mountain. Play commune. Carnage tyrant. Go to combat. Attack you with a bird. Take the bird beats, opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could definitely get down Carnage Tyrant next turn. Which is a threat. Now, we do need to prevent, make sure he does not get the Cascade this turn. Uh, here it comes. Okay. I, I just don't think we can win from here.
We just had too many lands in hand. We did not have enough action. And now we're just so far behind. Yeah. Yeah. We just, yeah, we just found six lands and that's the end of it. Okay. Uh, we will bring in Leyland Lights. Maybe go down to Blood Moon, Blood Moon. And... Yeah, so we have so much hate for this matchup. I mean, Blood Moon is fine, actually, but... We just got so many hate pieces, I don't... I don't know. Oh, you will be on the play. A two land hand, a Trenosphere, Void Mirror. Oh my god, this hand's like a like yes. eat it opponent hand. Yup. So you better have Rhino's opponent. You better have him fast, because uh you're gonna die quick. We just need to find lands, really. Uh, we'll play the forest. Pass the turn. So what do you got to say, opponent? A grief? I mean, grief does help. Opponent. What do you got? Cycles. Sure. Okay. Untap. Play the catacombs. Crack it. Grab a forest. Play void mirror. Pass the turn. Yes. Prison. Working? <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. Alright. We win the match. Got it. 1-0 with Dino Prison. Let's get into the next. Alright, let's get into it. So, so far, we have beat one opponent and one opponent scooped after getting annihilated by us by game match game one. Uh, we will... <sighs> Hope this is, that does not back fire uh we'll play what a foothills crack the foothills give us a prison piece please off the top forest ignoble of high arcs i go please 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 give me something good off the top not a land for sure anything else other than that Kills our dork. That's a land. That's the opposite of what I wanted. Pass the turf. Okay. Carnage Tire. Can Carnage Tire win from here? Is this... Gruel. Wren. Crack this. Grab a forest. Okay, Ren resolves. That's a problem. Can we deal with the Ren six? Come on, we're finding nothing but lands. The flood, man, the flood. Okay. Okay, so he doesn't want the top card. Targets me.
crack this. Grab a mountain. Okay, what do we get? What are we top decking? Oh my god, another freaking land. Seriously, this is ridiculous. Wow, this is ridiculous. On math, maybe? Maybe that's what he's going for here? To fairy. Upticks to fairy. Crack the wood of foothills. Grab a forest. So what do I want to do here? I could chalice on two. Can you see his counter spells? Stomping grounds tapped. I guess past the turn. I could have played uh, Bloodstained Mire. I guess just to make sure I get rid of all the lands because. Uh, I don't know how we're drop top decking them. One, two, three, four. So guaranteed we have Carnage Tyrant this turn. Now the question is, what does that mean for us? Uh, and this looks like four color money pile. The most expensive deck in the history of magic. Or modern, at least. <sighs> Play that. Carnage Tyrant. Pass the turn. What do you guys say about a Carnage Tyrant? Dino power. Dinos. Okay. What do you got to say about a Carnage Tyrant, though? Supreme Verdict? That would hurt. That's the only answer you have, really. <sighs> and Holy Heat does not kill it. Okay. Bounces my chalice of the void. Okay. Does that mean you got another Ren? <coughs> we know he doesn't have Omnath. Because he should play Omnath before he plays the Heat. Unless his end goal is to rat. So my problem is, if I can't put this on four, right? Because four... <coughs> it can't actually counter Supreme Verdict. Registrar Alpha. <coughs> okay. Registrar Alpha. Got a counter? <coughs> okay. That turns off on Holy Heat. The Fairy opponent. Ice Fang Quaddle. Sure, that kills the Carnage Tyrant. In okay, you kill both. Well, that sucks.
Yep. <coughs> that is seven. Okay. I think I keep Blood Moons in, though. So, what am I bringing in? Veil, probably. Yes. Both in the deck, because why not? He has a, he's a five. Can you answer my Reggie? Please don't. Solitude. Ugh, solitude. I hate solitude. We freaking get a land so we wouldn't have a chance of drawing one. Oh no, we still draw it. <laughs> Come on with that. Now we're probably going to lose the freaking match or game because we just, we just, all we do is top deck lands. Which is very statistically unlikely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen lands we have been through out of twenty one. So we're not even that high on lands. It blows my mind. Sure. Yeah, you got it. That was ridiculous. <sighs> okay, so it gets control. We bring in Veil. Probably don't need that. You could also bring in Chandra's, potentially. Because we expect Wraths. Uh, we could probably go down. The Stomper. Actually, wait a minute. Stomper is fine, right? Chalice is just not that great against control. Uh, what else are we cutting? Maybe a... Uh, cut a bird. I don't like that. Okay, so, hopefully we find our pieces here. This is not a bad, shouldn't be that terrible of a matchup. We just need to stick a Blood Moon or something. Trinisphere, sure. We have a payoff. We have, a, we have multiple payoffs in this hand. Play Forest, play a whole ignoble of high arcs. A gift. Okay. What do you got to say about ignoble high arc? So the question here is do we Trinisphere? Do you eat my. You do. He eats my freaking ignoble, ignoble high arc. Play Verdict Catacombs. Crack the Catacombs. Grab a Forest. Play Tribe Elder. Uh, yeah. Okay. Play the land. Tapped. Tribe Elder. Crack it. Get a mountain. Untap. Okay, so what's my goal here? Uh, Trinisphere? Stomping Grounds, chat. Pass. Okay, next turn we get Reggie. Which means there's no free ev evoking going on here. You can prismatic ending that though. Ren. Sure. Okay, untap. 
Play the forest. Play Reggie. Hit Rin. Get him, Dino. Get him. Pasture. Okay. See what he has. Does he play around Blood Moon? Does not. What do you guys say about if I draw a Blood Moon opponent? Wouldn't you feel stupid then? What do you got to say? It's a fairy. What do you bounce? Reggie. Why would you bounce Reggie? That makes no sense. That literally makes no sense. Uh, play Reggie. Make another token for some reason you want me to do that. Okay, kill both Planeswalkers. Yes. Goodbye. Pass the turn. Okay. What do you got to say now? I can't play Veil, so I don't know. I can play it next turn, though. <laughs> to protect my, uh, resolving my, uh, Skurge Tribe Builder. Okay. Go to combat. Attack you. What do you got to say, opponent? What do you got to say? <clears throat> Dress down. Draw a card. Carnage Tyrant. Hit ya. Tribe Elder. A Gyo. So what do you got to say about my board opponent? What do you got to say? He scoops it up. He's done. Okay. Dinosaurs. Taking it. <laughs> this might be the best version of Dinosaurs in Modern. Uh, that's not saying much. Uh, run it back. Run it back. I mean, really, it's not saying much because, uh, let's be real here. Dinosaurs are not that big in the format at all, so... <laughs> Being the best at something uh, where you're you're non-existent is uh, not saying much. Uh, we will keep this. We got a uh, blood moon. So okay. Jeez. Get a forest. Play the Ignobolus of High Arcs. So what do you got to say? Alright. Alright. So our goal was to play this Catacombs. Get another forest. Do you ping? He does. Well, that's just not cool, opponent. Play inverted catacombs. Crack the catacombs. Grab a forest. Play commune. Get a stomper. Uh, 
Okay. So, that's actually not bad, right? So we get to Stomper and then get a land to get us to Alpha. So that's reasonable. Stomper. What do you gotta say about a Stomper resolving? I think Quaddle. That doesn't matter. Yep. So Stomper resolves. Let's fetch us another. Let's get a mountain. Pass the turn. So now we have Chandra mana. Or we can do another Stomper or Blood Moon with Veil back up. That is a nice possibility. See what he does. If he could shut off a lot of his sources, that would be really good for us. Passes. Okay. So red, red, that. Blood Moon. I think I go for birds. Pass the turn. So that means I get to play Stomper or Sh or Chandra or Alpha next turn if he doesn't kill my bird. He doesn't have white mana. I guess he does have it here. He has it here. So he, he does have the ability to play Teferi, but that doesn't get him much. What do you got to say, opponent? Sure, makes this any tap for any color. I need to destroy these gross. So, if I top deck any land that's not a forest, I think I go for Chandra here. If I top deck a forest, I could Stomper Veil. Because I would, I would like to start attacking with the Stomper. Gets rid of the gets rid of the blood moon. Classic uh, four color pile. <sighs> what do I want to do here? Yeah, let's go for it. Chandra. What do you guys say about a Chandra? Nothing. Okay. Uh, up ticket. Trinosphere. Yep. Pass the turn. So now we get to basically go off. Okay. So two, three, four, five. So four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. We get another one more land. I think we could we could double spell, which would be pretty awesome. What are you going to say, opponent? Omnath. 
It's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. He has eight cards in hand. So he's winning the uh, that war. But... Stupid Omnath. Four color pile. I just don't see it from winning from here. I mean, Omnath is a big deal. It's a fairy. What do you bounce? He bounces Trenosphere. That's fine. So what do we top deck? That is the question. The stupid... Uh, stupid Omnath. Fury. You hit here and here, or do you hit here? It's all a Chandra. Okay, sure. Such a busted deck. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, there's no way we can win from here. I mean, Elementals is just too good of a deck. It's by far the best deck. And I don't even think, like, banning Omnath would help. Omnath is not the problem. Such a busted deck. All right, dude. We get it. You have the best deck. Got it. All right. One and one. See if we can't get the next guy. We at least competed in that match. All right, let's get into it. The last match. Okay. Okay, so we're facing Glimpse. Sure. Seems like an okay matchup. Play that. Play the Ignoble Hierarch. Pass. So what am I thinking here? Okay, makes perfect sense. So, 
five or yeah five tournaments that's what i thought <clears throat> turn two stomper uh pass Okay. And what do you got, opponent? Shardless agent. So three, four, five, six. Is that what you got, Shardless agent? No oh, fable of the mirror breaker. Okay. Seems. Okay. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five. Kill that past the turn. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got Carnage Tyrant. Risen Reef. This is weird. It's very weird. Of a deck. Like, it's mixing the diff... Four color elementals with... Uh... Glimpse. It's just really puzzling. You play what of Foothills. Crack the Foothills. Grab another forest. Carnage Tyrant. Attack you for one past the turn. <coughs> okay, down to 15. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we know we have enough lands to turn on these stompers next turn. Start going crazy. There's a Shardless Agent. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <coughs> you didn't get all that impressive of a board. Got double fables, but that's not saying much. Okay. Yep. No real win condition there. So what do you got to say? What's my best turn? 
would he actually trade a lot of his creatures in for a Carnage Tyrant? I don't know. Fury. Okay. What are you killing? Kills a stomper. Okay. What do you got, opponent? <sighs> Nothing. So, seven? Two, four, seven. You basically trade all of this in? Let's just attack with Stomper. I mean, you just got to jump it, right? Plant token. Okay. I don't get the point of this, but sure. Endurance. Okay. Okay, block there, there. What do you got, opponent? Opponent taking his sweet time. While we're waiting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. That way, you get alerts to when the next series of Thursday Carnage airs. <clears throat> All 
on that. Ugh. Well, the, Okay, come on. Put that non-omnat triggers on. Then, then the omnats will just resolve. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't need the land, but. <sighs> interesting. That was pretty interesting. What else you got? I don't think this is a bad matchup. We just... We gotta get our uh, hate cards. Yes. 
So we need to draw something this turn. Not sure what though. Not a land. Okay. Well, this is not a bad matchup, I don't think. If we bring in this. Could probably bring in these for their smaller creatures. Cut that. Cut some tribe elder. So we're not like that. We just need to find a hate piece. Which shouldn't be that hard. Since we have a lot of hate cards. Trinosphere works, Void Mirror works, Chalice works. So. Next time we got Anchor to deal with all his zero ones, one ones, so that should reduce his partnerments as well. So when he, if he can do it, then you know. <clears throat> Okay. Sure. Wait, what if foothills crack? It? Get a forest. Ignoble of hierarchs. Go. Yeah. So, this blood moon might help. I don't think it's going to be as good as my other hate pieces, but it's still an okay hate piece. Yep. What else you got? So we play with a foothills, crack it, get a forest. Play Blood Moon. Passage Earth. Yep, this is why we are playing Dino Prison. Nothing's better than uh, getting a turn two Blood Moon and just seeing if the opponent can get through it. Tribe Elder. Commune. Get Stomper. Commune. Get Carnage Tyrant. Pass the turn. Okay. What do you got to say, opponent? What do you got to say? You don't have any green mana. All your red mana. That's okay. I guess you could eventually get treasure tokens. Okay. So he cracks Tribe Elder. Let's get another forest while we're at it. So now we get to play down Carnage Tyrant this turn. Carnage Tyrant. Uh, go. Next turn. That is the turn. It's pretty impressive, actually. We will lose our Ignoble Hierarchs, but that's okay. What do you got to say about this opponent? You got to desperately dig for a forest? <laughs> That's your plan, I guess? We're going to start smashing face for eat this turn. Second main face, play these two. Why not? I 
could wait until the fable flips though that is a good point if i wait until that flips then i could just wipe the board completely taxes so he gets to have a green source yep take it out okay so he gets one opportunity at this Basaju, the Blood Moon. Foundation Breaker, the Blood Moon. Sure, but that's not enough, really. Not enough. What are you going to do about my board? Like, you could definitely now crack your Misty Rainforest. Get stuff set up, I guess, but... That's not enough, I don't think. Okay, what do you got? Charles Agent. Sure. Okay. What do I want to do here? If I eat two Charlotte's agents, make him exiled, he has less of a chance of being able to do this again. What do you guys say, opponent? Okay. Red. Anger. Stomper. Get a mountain. Go to combat. Smack you for seven pass a turn. Yep. Okay. It's working. This deck is actually kind of working. What do you got, opponent? What do you got to say, opponent? What do you got to say? You're getting smashed to smithereens, opponent. By dinosaurs. In modern, of all things. Like, this shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It killed the stomper. Opponent. What do you got? Took him a while to get this far. <laughs> Sure. Come on. Hold. Come on. Come on. Reggie. Could double block here, I guess.
Pass the turn. I don't know. What do you got, opponent? Maybe I should have kept that anger. Sure. What do you got to say, opponent? How do we ever not find any of our hate cards? It blows my mind. There, there is a hate card. Furnisphere. <laughs> you can definitely block here. Okay. Trade, trade. Yep. Got it. Yep. I mean, he had to do more blocking than just Fury. So, jokes on him. Uh. Like that, so we could bounce something on the play. We need to do something quick, though. We need to beat him like straight up beat him. <laughs> chalice. Okay, we have a turn one chalice. Seems fine. We should be able to ramp into this alpha. So, this deck is actually working. Though. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this list. Pass the turn. What do you got to say? If he besages it, not the end of the world. Hit ya. Pass the turn. Two, three, four. Reggie is the one turn away. Or, yeah. <clears throat> Two turns away.
I think Reggie's a fine threat for this deck, actually, just because, I mean, he's seven damage for five mana. So, <coughs> one of it, three of it's hasty. So, I really like him, actually. <coughs> Risen Reef. Sure. That definitely could be dead. One minute past the turn. I get it. He has one of each basic, but it's whatever. You can't cast Omnath, and that's important. We got Omnath and Glyphs taken care of. For now, at least. He could have Ottawara. That could bounce a Chalice. You know, things happen, but... Fury. No, Wave Shifter. Sure. One, two, three, four, five. Reggie. Subtlety. Sure. Uh, we will draw that again. Pass the turn. So now what? I could do both, right? Now I could uh, dead and gone and play Reggie. What do you got to say, opponent? Hit us? Sure. He has to crack some clues, probably. Reggie. Now what do you got to say? He resolves. Kill that. Hit you for four past the turn. Okay, what do you got to say, opponent? <clears throat> he has 40 seconds left on the clock. He's going to lose to the clock, probably. But we're going to try to beat him so badly uh, this next turn. We need to draw a Cardish Tyrant. Cardish Tyrant off the top for the win. Because that would be 14 damage, potentially. Fury? Fury kills Alpha. Sure. Okay. Now what? Commune. Play Commune. Reggie. Uh, red. Reggie. Go to combat. Hit you with one of them. I'd rather not lose a dinosaur. Beat him. We were going to win that match probably anyways. Let's see what we're going to top deck. Nope. We don't know. So. Wow. What, what a performance for the deck. Alright. So what did we learn this week about Dinosaur Prison? In modern the deck performed okay uh there's definitely some stuff that i think i should have 
in hindsight, I should have known, uh, like Force of Vigor, definitely should be in the list. Uh, which is a no-brainer. Okay. So definitely a couple of those. Um, probably cut a veil, to be honest. Uh, what other prison piece could, or something we could do? Um, is there anything that, that hates on tokens? Hmm. Or what else do I don't want to face? Hmm. So maybe we move the Chandra main. Cut that. We have two slots in the side. What else? Uh, what else is good in, like, to bring in? Hmm. Trying to think, what what else do I bring in? Uh, so we faced Cascade twice: one Living End, one uh, Glimpse, and we lost to a four-color Elemental. So we could run Torpor Orb. A Torpor Orb stops Registar Alpha. But that's about it. Uh, so we don't we don't get the token. Uh, what else can we do to stop Solitude stuff like that? I guess Voidmere should I guess take care of it and make him pay three for Trinisphere. Should help reduce the power level of the Elementals. Um, Uh, maybe we just play some. No, I mean we already have kind of hate, right? We already have hate, or Tron, so we don't need damping sphere for more hate. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, what else am I missing? What cyborg card? Pity Needle's okay, I guess. But is that what I want? A Pity Needle. Surgical Extraction? Interesting. Well, defensive grid is also pretty solid, even though it's not the exact same thing as, you know, Veil vale Summer, but it's, you know, pretty close, right? So we prevent our opponent from doing stuff on our turn. That might be enough to win. Um, Maybe life gain is important. I don't know about that. <clears throat> oh, EE. E. 
you, you could be something. Yeah. Maybe engineer explosives is worth more. Uh, maybe cut a veil and a Chandra. So we have this for control. We all we basically change up our heat, right? So we could do that plus Trinosphere means do they do they not work with each other? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If they work or not together. Would it make it six mana? I don't know. Or is it going to bump it to three? Add three to defense grid, which basically voids out Trinosphere? I don't know. But let me know in the comments what you think of that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, like I said, hit that bell notification that you can see next episode as well of Carnage, Thursday Carnage, uh, as well as my other episodes. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.